The neighborhood that I grew up in San Antonio was like a Norman Rockwell painting. Only all the faces were brown. We saw around us who we were and who our people were. Our measure was not what the rest of the world thought of us, but what happened right there in that neighborhood. I graduated from college in 1968. My very first job right out of college was as an assistant to the city manager in San Antonio. My job was to work on that agenda of Great Society programs. Everything I've done since is just a variation on that theme. Like every one of us, there are many dimensions and iterations to who I am. I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a son, I'm a brother, I'm a Democrat, I'm a Catholic, I'm a Texas Aggie. But the most precious identity for me is as an American. I think America should view itself fortunate. Your immigrants are so much like you. The Latinos who come to the United States, it's a real easy integration if Americans would just understand it. One of the things we're missing in this dialogue is the humanity. It's so easy in human discourse to dismiss the sacredness of human hopes and aspirations, ambitions. My dad believed in books. His fellow soldiers said they'd never met anybody who carried three books with them. He just believed in education. It's a kind of a secular faith. Apply yourself today, you do better later. You have to have faith that that process plays out. It always has in the United States. We are a less class-bound, less discriminatory, less rigid society if you have an education. If you can perform in a skill set, then that's the currency for advancement in the society and nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you. Nobody can take it away.